Hi, I'm Edwina Bridgman. I'm one of the visiting artists for, to the children's ward at the RUH in Bath. We're in my workshop at the moment. Um, these videos have been commissioned by Art at the Heart as part of their Participate programme. Um, and they're specifically for the times when we can't be with you. This video is going to be about how to make things out of newspaper and tape. Um, I know that you will all have plenty of ideas about what you want to make, but I'm going to show you just a few ideas. So in your bag, you should have a cone and some glue and some tape, some scissors, a pen um, and some bits and pieces that you may or may not add. But most importantly, you've got some paper. And this is what we're going to use to model our characters. So we could end up with a person, a bird, maybe even a dog. This dog seems to be quite interested in the bird. Mm. Or a slightly different sort of... Don't peck me, please. Shall we get going? Oh, sorry. The first thing that you need to do is take one of your pieces of paper and scrunch it up as tightly as you can. Into a ball. And then we're going to take the other piece of paper and hide the ball. Wrap it around. Scrunch it. And then twist the paper and that's going to give you a neck or a handle. Don't worry if your paper rips if you're, um, because we're going to stick tape all over it um, so it doesn't matter too much. So can you see we've got the beginnings of a head and a neck which will eventually go into this cone. This will be your body. Okay so that's pretty simple start. This head's looking quite round if you were going to do an animal, it could have been, it might be longer. You need to get to that stage. When you're at that stage, you need to take the tape. I like to tear quite small bits. What's great about this is you don't need to use the scissors, it will tear. Then you can stick on to your sculpture. What I really like about this is that you might not know straight away what you're going to make, but actually as you're making it, you think, oh, I think this might be turning into a seal or no, it looks like, it looks like me. I'm going to make it into me. But when this is completely covered in tape, you'll have something that looks like this. So there's no paper showing at all. And it feels really quite nice and strong. So I'm going to use the cone now. I'm going to put this into the cone. And for me, I think this one's beginning to look quite like a dog. A dog that might have got his nose sticking up in the ear, in the in the air. Um, so I'm thinking about my own dog now. He's got quite floppy ears. You might want to think about making some ears. You could use some of these little bits that are in the bag. Again, you can cut pieces. Or you can just tear them. So I'm going to make one ear like that. And I'm going to stick it on with a bit of tape. You could make bigger ears, you could make sticky up ears, really floppy ears. If you stick it like that, 
and then bend it over. That's not a bad ear coming on. And we'll do the same on the other side. So, a little bit here. I'm cutting out a sort of oval shape, but you'll have plenty of ideas. I don't even mind if they're not exactly the same size. So there's an ear. It's got a little bend in the top of it. I'm going to stick that one on. Like that. Bend it back down. <laughs> Already he looks like he's coming to life. Just with those ears. So now... I think I'm going to use my pen to give him a nose and some eyes. Hmm, my dog's got a little black nose. And he's pretty much always smiling. I'm just putting that on really simply. He's got, I'm going to do his eyes now. So he's got one eye. And another eye. He's very, very fluffy, so I'm going to draw lots of fur on him. Lots and lots. He's very, 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 very fluffy. You can have some real fun with this. You could just use the pencil that's in your bag as well. It doesn't have to be pen. Or you might decide that you're going to cut up some other bits and pieces that you find and stick, stick them on. Here he is. He's coming to life. Hmm. I think I might make him into a pup like this one. So he's got a friend. Which means I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to thread a piece of wool through till it comes out the bottom. Give it a tug. Cut. Tie it in a knot. In. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need some legs. You should find some bits like this in your bag. I'm going to make knots in the end of this one so it looks like he's got paws. Front legs. legs. And we're just going to stick those on with some tape underneath. A bit more tape. Stick it on his tummy. Same for the front. Gonna stick some tape on here. Ah, needs a tail. Hmm, I wonder what I'll make a tail from. I think I'm gonna use 
some more of this. I'm going to tear him a nice tail. Give it a little. And I'm just going to stick it into the end. <laughs> He's coming to life. So really, that's the technique. You can do as little or as much that you feel that you want to. You might want to decorate the cone by sticking more bits and pieces on. There are some bits of fabric that you could stick onto the cone, or you might decide just to leave it completely as it is. So this is the dog. If you're doing a person, it works in exactly the same way. You just add your head into the cone. You might want to cut some fabric to make the body, add some arms, and the string's really good. The wool's really good for tying it all together. If you really like this character, You can make the head in exactly the same way that I've just shown you. And you could even use a T-shirt, one of your T-shirts or pyjamas. Um, as the cloth. And this one's just done in pencil too. I quite like his big eye. I really hope that you enjoy making some of these models. Very, very simple. Just use your imaginations. I know you will. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Hello again. Um, I've just watched that footage back. Um, all the noise was the rain on the roof. I've got a glass roof here. It started to pour. I hope you'll dry where you are. See you soon. Bye.